Uh, okay, welcome to what is going to be the first of four uh, reasonably detailed mesh mixer tutorials uh, covering quite a quite a few of the tools uh, and sort of with a goal of creating things that are 3D printable uh, from scratch, designing objects that are 3D printable. So when you start up mesh mixer, I'm going to assume you've downloaded and installed it. The first thing you're going to see is this: you'll see the mesh mi mixer, the mesh mixer window, and you'll see this pop-up window. Um, which has some useful stuff in it. You know, normally you'll just cl just close it, but you might want to once in a while check it out because, for insta instance, if you're new to Mesh Mixer, it has these links in here to things like cheat sheet, hot hotkey cheat sheets, and things like that. Um, we post news in here, like the Mesh Mixer talk at SIGGRAPH this year. Uh, you know, cool images that people have made with Mesh Mixer and stuff like new release information. So. This is where you can find out if there's a new release of Mesh Mixer every time you start it up. Just have a glance. Um, so the first thing you obviously want to do when you start Mesh Mixer is you want to get files in here to work on. So in Mesh Mixer, you're always importing into the scene, and then you can save and load in Mesh Mixer's custom format. So to import, you can import in two ways. You can import using these buttons up here when the scene is empty. This is the action bar, and these menu items are going to change uh, as you do things. Or you can use a menu, so in Windows, the menu is attached to the window and you can use file import it does the same thing so that one you can always use um, in Mac this menu is at the top of the screen so let's use the action bar button first and I've just got a bunch of objects here that are sort of useful to start from as a starting point so here's an example and I'll just show you if we wanted to replace this we'd go file import and when you do that it's going to ask you if you want to replace this object or add to it so you probably want to replace it uh, unless you know why you'd want to add to it. So let's say, let's take this diamond object and it'll change the object that's in there. Uh, now I'm moving the camera around and looking at it from different angles. I'm using some hotkeys to do that right now. Uh, the hotkeys I'm using, I'm holding down the alt key and using the left, right, and middle mouse buttons. Um, but those you might not have those mouse buttons. It might not be that convenient. Really the easiest way to do camera controls is to hold down the space bar and that pops up something called the hotbox. And the hotbox has these buttons that you can do different things with. For instance, this button, when you so I'm holding down spacebar, I'm clicking on this button and dragging, and now I can rotate the camera. If I let go of the hotbox, it disappears, and I can let go and still be rotating. So I can pan, I can zoom. If you get sort of your view gets broken, you hold down the hotbox spacebar and click this button, it'll recenter and refocus on the object. Uh, there's some other useful things in here. If you, you know, if you notice, you can't rotate. It's not arc ball rotation. It's turntable. It's called. So there's, you can't sort of spin this object around. If you click free rotate, then you can go to a more traditional kind of rotation where you can get all sorts of crazy views. Um, let's turn that back off though. And also, um, if you want to snap to fixed camera angles, you can check the snap option, and now you'll see that the view snaps as I get close to sort of looking on the side. So this is snapping to the x, y, and z axes. Okay, so um, now let's assume I did some stuff to this model like I'm going to, going to in later tutorials. Um, now we want to, you know, do something, you know, save it out. So you have two options. One, you can save. And if you go save, then you'll get the option to save as a .mix file. That's a binary format. You can save and load dot mixes. They're more compact. They save more information than just the mesh. Um, so if you're working strictly inside a mesh mixer, you need you should use dot mix. But you can also uh, export, and you can export as different formats. For instance, uh, let's resize the window here. You can export as OBJ, uh, Collada, PLY, STL ASCII, and STL binary. Um, and so if you wanted to send a file to a 3D printer, you might want to export as STL, for example. Um, OBJ is a sort of universal, everyone can use. DAE is a, also some printing services like Shapeways take those. And that's, uh, so that's our first five minutes. So that's basic Mesh Mixer tutorial um, on sort of camera controls and getting files in and out of Mesh Mixer. Okay, great.